In this video, I'm going to unbox and review an inexpensive USB video capture card. You can tell the box is super small. I'm having a little bit of a difficult time getting it open. But there we see the actual video capture card. It has a user manual. It was packaged pretty decent, I guess you could say. As you can tell, this is just USB to HDMI. There's no composite, component, or S video for this particular product. There were no drivers with this, but this particular product doesn't really need any drivers. Since this USB capture card doesn't have composite and S video, I decided to buy a converter. I bought a 10 deck converter. It will convert composite and S video to HDMI. We're going to look at the results now. First, I'm going to test it out with the Windows camera utility. It might appear bright, but this was overexposed on the VHS tape itself. The quality looks decent. The blacks aren't totally getting crushed. The whites aren't totally blown out. But if you notice on the right hand side, the video is distorted. It is the 10 deck converter causing that distortion, not the USB video capture card. I want to say I think my 10 deck converter is defective. I don't think the majority of these types of converters are going to have that distortion on the right hand side of the video. I tried this combination to do game capture and as you can tell the right hand side is still distorted. When you're doing game capture, you want to make sure that the aspect ratio is correct as well as the resolution. I am now using OBS Studio. Some of you might think it's too bright. OBS Studio does give you controls to make it look brighter or darker. That being said, even if I captured the video as is, I could color correct it with Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro 10, or Avid. I am now using the inexpensive USB video capture card as a webcam. I'm taking the HDMI output from my camera and connecting it into the video capture card. I'm bypassing the 10 deck converter since I don't need it. You can tell the colors are fantastic. There is probably a tenth of a second delay, but for a lot of you, this will work pretty decent. Right now, I am capturing an old DVD that I created way back in 2002. I'm simply taking the output of my Blu-ray player and connecting it up to my USB to HDMI video capture card. As you can tell, the colors look fantastic. I'm not using that 10 deck converter at all. I just want to say that when you're using a Blu-ray player, you have to make sure the resolution and aspect ratio is set up correctly, just like you would do with a gaming console. Pretty easy to set up on most Blu-ray players. Your TV has these options as well. Right now I'm playing a store-bought DVD. I'm going out the HDMI port of the Blu-ray player directly into the USB to HDMI video capture card. The colors look fantastic. It looks just like it would if I connected it right to the TV. Overall, this inexpensive USB to HDMI video capture card seems pretty decent for the money. You can usually pick them up for about $15 to $30. Is this inexpensive USB capture card, when combined with a converter, a better solution for most people than the Intensity Shuttle or the ADVC 110? I'll have more videos over the next two to three weeks doing a better comparison between all of these products. I really couldn't do a fair comparison in this video because I do think my 10 deck converter is defective. If you would like to see an in-depth comparison between all the products as well as some OBS tutorials, simply subscribe to my channel.